Hello. In this video, I will be discussing uh, different ship motions, its stability, and uh, little bit of sea sickness. So let's start with the ship motions. Ship is a very interesting vehicle or as structure where we can see six de degrees of freedom all are open right so just first have a look on the different degrees of freedom or different possible type of motions we have a schematic diagram of a ship okay uh, before going into the motions what i want to just discuss that is the axis system whatever axis system we may consider only thing we have to make sure that if we use our right hand okay and if we just turn our right hand from x to y axis the right hand thumb should just direct towards our z axis right so this is a standard notation of axis system and uh, I am following the same it can vary but the rule should be constant okay now we have six degrees of freedom three translational and three rotational okay what are the translational motions first of all if this x axis is along the longitudinal axis of the ship okay we are considering x axis as the longitudinal axis of the ship and y axis is considered as the transverse axis okay which is perpendicular to the x axis or the longitudinal axis and z is our vertical axis so along x axis if any ship just want to move in this direction in x direction or longitudinal direction that movement or motion is termed as such motion along y axis or its transverse axis is termed as sway and along the vertical axis this type of movement of any ship that is termed as heave so these are the three translational motions okay so what about the rotational motions we have three rotational motions what are they first of all the most dangerous one that is the roll okay we call it rolling the phenomena or event that is actually called rolling and this rolling happens about this axis so all rotations are basically designated about any axis okay so rolling is about x axis so if this is our ship and this is the longitudinal axis then the ship this type of motion rotational motion that is actually termed as rolling okay which is most dangerous i will come on uh, rolling in in little bit detail what is this this is pitch or the event is called pitching this pitch is about y axis okay about y axis means if the ship want to rotate like this this kind of motion is actually pitching and yaw or yawing this event is actually it's basically about the vertical axis okay so why this rolling is most dangerous here comes the point of stability so now if we just observe the plan view of this particular ship this is our x axis this is our y axis i have drawn the same in plan view over here just have a look this is our x axis which is longitudinal axis we are looking from the top okay bird side view or the plan view and this is our y axis okay so in obvious reason we can see our i x x that is the moment of inertia or the second moment of area about x axis is much much smaller than the moment of inertia or the second moment of area about our y axis okay now here i will just take couple of minute to just deduce uh, whether we are observing it correctly or not okay so let's see <clears throat> i am just considering any standard ship the warship i was 
working with in in the year 2011 uh, 12 in that particular year in the in mazagon dock limited mumbai which is basically uh, under it's basically a defense shipyard and it's under ministry of defense government of india that warship was having approximately roughly its length was somewhat 160 meter the width was around 21 i am taking i am considering as 20 meter this width as 20 meter so i am not going into much detail of the calculation but it is very obvious if we want to calculate i x x it is obviously it will be somewhat 20 or sorry it is basically 160 into 20 cube divided by 12 i am considering it as a rectangle okay for simplification and i y y would be our 20 into 160 whole cube divided by 12 you could calculate at any point of time but whatever result you will be getting you can see that the i x x which is moment of inertia about x axis is coming as much lesser than the y axis that the moment of inertia about y axis so this moment of inertia is somehow related to the stability okay so for any particular axis about any particular axis is if the moment of inertia is much lesser then we can expect the stability of that particular body it it may be a rigid body it may be a floating body whatever but the body or the object should have very lesser stability okay about that particular axis in our case the moment of inertia about x axis is much lesser that is why we are getting much lesser amount of moment of inertia or much lesser amount of stability rather about the x axis now the question may arise what about the moment of inertia about the z axis now if we consider the plane as our xy plane if we are considering this plane as xy plane and if we are considering this as our cartesian moment of inertia then obviously the izz which becomes the polar moment of inertia and this polar moment of inertia we know this is nothing but izz becomes ixx plus iyy so it is basically a summation of both ixx and iyy so whatever may be the value of ixx or iyy obviously this izz should be more than any of these two and obviously it will be more than your ixx also so among these three moment of inertia okay we can see easily we can observe that this ixx is the least that is why the stability is very much vulnerable in case of the motion about the y about the x axis which we term as our rolling now <clears throat> here what we can do or what as naval architect what we used to do that we used to calculate for any part any ship uh, we used to calculate the rolling frequency or rolling period and that rolling period or that rolling fre frequency rather that should be somewhat different from the frequency of the waves or the encountered forces whatever is encountered by the ship itself those frequencies should be different if they come closer then there will be a resonance and the ship will be moving drastically or the rolling will be very much dangerous in that case particularly okay so so for raf c this is a very uh, well known problem and this is a very severe problem and people are working worldwide or on this particular issue another thing i wanted to just uh, share that is c sickness now though the main reason of c sickness is the problem of uh, conflicting of signals actually what happens the brain get signals from the inner ear okay from eyes or from any sensory organs right so if 
for any drastic movement this balance somehow get disturbed so it it sends some different signals in different time okay which doesn't match with the other signals uh, going to the brain from the other sensory organs so that is the main problem and there what happens that some problem occurs and it turns into some nausea vomiting headache like that another very small issue that you can think about when the body fluid the natural frequency of the body fluid somehow matches it is exactly same or it might be very much closer to the natural frequency or the rolling frequency that what happens uh, somehow that the fluid just try to get uh, try to get out of the body okay so that is also just ag uh, means aggravate the problem of the uh, vomiting right so this was a very brief video about ship motion uh, its stability and uh, the sea sickness very little bit about the sea sickness so being a civil engineer in future i will be very much interested to make more videos on this kind of interdisciplinary topics okay uh, which we can approach from our civil engineering basic civil engineering domain knowledge itself okay so if you uh, find it interesting please share uh, like and subscribe thank you